today we're talking about racks and gong stands. If you've got a gong, you need some sort of stand. You just can't hold it. So we'll look at a few different designs and explore some things. This is a basic Peisty ring stand. It's a steel ring with two steel legs. I've had this one for about 40 years and it's still going strong. Basic Peisty square stand, two feet, two uprights, two crossbars. This is great for sitting and will hold various size gongs. Or you can take the same stand and extend it up in the air, as I prefer, because I really don't like to sit and play, so I like it up in the air. Great stand, kind of heavy though. Here's a picture of one of those stands with two gongs on it at the clinic I did at the Percussive Art Society convention in Austin last year. Or you can also get your basic Gibraltar commercial gong stand. This is available from most music stores, anybody who carries Gibraltar products. But if you're like me, you like to build things. And I've collected all sorts of tubing and racking over the years from different racks, plus all sorts of clamps and fittings. So let's build something. Start off, we need two feet. These are like 24 inches wide to give you a lot of stability. And we need two T clamps, basic T clamps. To that, we attach two uprights, in this case, 43 inch ones and a 36 inch crossbar with a couple of hooks. There's a couple of additional fittings on there that we'll talk about later, but here's your basic single gong floor stand and there we are 32 inch peisty gong on there extremely sturdy extremely portable now if we add two more 36 inch bars on top and another 36 inch crossbar we have a double gong stand here we have the 32 inch gong on top and a 28 inch gong on the bottom very flexible I love the Gibraltar stuff because of that Here's a live shot of that same stand with two wing bars on the top, each holding a 24-inch gong. Or another way we can adapt that basic two-gong one is add two more 36-inch bars to the crossbars. Here we have five large gongs from 20 to 32 inches, held very sturdy and stable. And then we have this the exact same stand with the two wing bar attachments and I've got six large gongs on that. That's my main unit for gong meditation sessions right there. Here's another version. We've got that centerpiece with an extension on the end with two more gongs and also on the left we have a sound plate rack made out of the Gibraltar stuff. Here's another version, the main rack on the right and a second main rack on the left. Here I've got eight big gongs and it's sturdy as can be. From there, anything with your imagination. Here's that same rack with another extension on the right, holding two more gongs and a smaller rack on the far right with small gongs and sound plates and things. So I love the Gibraltar stuff because you can do just about anything you want and build what you need, and it's very flexible. But if you're creative, you can get your basic pipe fittings and steel pipe from the hardware store and build a stand, you know, something that you're basically going to keep in one place. It's uh, kind of hard to break those down and use them over and over, so they're great for one place. Or if you're handy... As a woodworker, you can make some sort of a nice stand out of wood. Again, pretty much for a permanent placement. So if you're traveling a lot, doing a lot of gigs, I really do recommend a commercial stand that breaks down and is compact and easy to use. So that's really it. Not too much to say about gongs and stands, but get something sturdy, get something stable, and it should last you forever. If you have further questions, write to me at gongtopia at aol.com or check out my website at 
gongtopia.com. Thanks a lot, and we'll check in with you next time. Bye.